Welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're going to focus on a celeb look and we have our beautiful model Danielle who is going to be um, our model for a Catherine Jenkins inspired look. So as you can see we already have um, our base on, um, a little drop of concealer and one of the eyes in place. Um, Catherine Jenkins generally tends to go with kind of a a soft smoky eye and a nude lip. She likes a lot of contour and she likes quite a lot of highlight as well. So to begin with, we're going to take a paint pot. This is by MAC, this is called Painterly. And this is a base, so we, we put this on to kind of prime the eye and also really helps to bring out the pigment and the shadows. And we're just going to pat this onto the lid. This really doesn't have to be neat because we're just placing the product on. I'm now going to just buff all that out to make it a bit softer and we're just taking a blending brush and just working this in circular motions just to soften out the product. So we're now going to go in with a matte colour, it's going to be a cream, um, a cream kind of colour um, and we're going to take it two thirds of the way along the eye. So I'm just going to use a clean 217 brush to apply that. So this is a matte cream colour. And again, we're just going to push this into the eye. I'm now going to pick up again a flat brush. I'm just going to use the opposite side of the brush to apply the product and we're taking a matte grey shadow. This is a prolonged wear product by MAC, so it just gives a bit of more life to the product as well, makes it a bit longer lasting, so great for if you want to have this for a daytime look. And I'm now just gonna take a 217 and just blend that all out. So don't worry if you get any fall from the shadow because this can all just be cleaned up with your foundation brush. Um, we're now going to blend out all the colours just to make it a bit softer. So I'm just going to take Wedge, which is a kind of, it's called a mediator colour by MAC. And this is just used to soften out the look and kind of blend it in with your brow. And again, just work in circular motions. And this again just takes away any harsh edges. Again, Catherine Jenkins tends to like a bit of shimmer as well, so I'm just going to add a little bit of a light kind of pearlescent white to the, um, the cream base. So now we're going to move on to our liner. And now I know a lot of people struggle with liner, so I generally find the easiest way to apply liner is with gel and an angled brush. The angled brush just really seems to give a lot more control when you're applying your liner. This is a Maybelline product. I find these seem to last quite well. They don't really dry out as fast as some other products. I generally tend to start um, two thirds of the way along the lash line and then work backwards, just as this kind of gives you a base to start with. And if you could just open your eye and just look over to the corner and down slightly. And just look straight down. I also find these brushes are great for applying your flick as well. They give a lot more control as well. So if you just look straight down the way. Okay, and to tidy up that flick, we're just gonna go in with a little bit of concealer and a flat brush. And this just really sharpens up the look. You just keep looking down, Danielle. So 
So this is a great tip for if you struggle with your liner. There you have a beautiful flick. So now I'm just going to take some concealer under the brow bone, just to kind of highlight that area. And I'm just going to buff that out. So before I apply any shadow underneath the eye, I'm going to conceal the area first. The only thing with cream concealers is they do tend to crease slightly throughout the day, so the way to correct that is just to kind of pat it outwards, um, and that just takes it back to where you were at the beginning. So now we're going to take some, this is a flesh toned concealer, um, this is a chromographic pen by MAC, um, this is a lot of celebrities use these on red carpet events, it just really brightens up the whites of your eyes, um, it just makes you look a lot more awake. So we're just going to take this, we're going to run it in Danielle's waterline. So now I'm just going to run some shadow underneath the bottom lash line just to add a little bit more depth to the eye, make it a bit more smoky. So if you just look straight up. And we're just applying this with a smudge brush. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, that just brings out Danielle's eyes, it makes them pop. Catherine Jenkins is also known for always having really kind of full voluminous lashes. So we're just going to apply this lash in the centre and then just press it out into the corners. And try and not go too close to the, um, the inner part of your eye as this is when it can become quite uncomfortable. I'm just going to pop some mascara on top of these, if you can just look down slightly. And again, I would always apply your mascara after lashes. This just really helps to marry them together. Again, Catherine Jenkins is known for having quite a defined brow. And we're going to take an um, eyeshadow, which is Charcoal Brown by MAC. And we're just going to work that onto the brow with an angled brush. And we're just doing kind of sweeping motions across. Something I always do when I'm um, creating a brow is even if it's a natural brow, I always like to carve it out with a concealer. This just gives a really nice crisp finish to the brow and it just makes it look a lot more professional as well. Again, I always like to use a, high, um, a concealer which is a few shades lighter than the foundation just as this really kind of highlights the brow area as well. So now we're going to move on to contour. This is um, something that a lot of people find really quite difficult to master and a lot of people don't really know actually where to apply contour. I like to begin with a kind of more of a mousse base and then work up to a powder base. This stops the, um, the product going patchy. So when we're contouring, we work under the cheekbone onto the temples and just slightly onto the forehead and down the jawline. So we're just kind of pushing this under the cheekbone and upwards. And this just gives you a really lovely, lovely, um, kind of more structured look to your face. Just pressing this into the cheekbone. And just turn slightly this way and just under the jawline and onto the temple of the forehead. Okay, so now that we've got that on, this is ju that's just quite a subtle colour. We're now going to add your powder just to finish that off. This is a MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Powder and we're using the shade Medium Dark. Okay, so I'm just going to work this on top. Now most images I've seen of Catherine Jenkins, she doesn't tend to wear a lot of blush. Um, and when you do see her wearing blush, it's more kind of peachy tones. 
right, so I'm just going to work two colours together. This is Gingerly and Margin by MAC. They're, one's a matte and one's a metallic. Um, I'm working of pearlescent shimmery bronzer, blusher. And we're now going to add some highlighter. One of my favourite products is um, MAC Cream Colour Base and Hush. It just makes your makeup look absolutely amazing. Even if you've got hardly any makeup on, it just makes you look so fresh. Again, Catherine Jenkins always seems to like to wear quite a kind of nude colour on her lips. So we're going to apply um, Angel by MAC, which is a lovely kind of pinky nude. This colour's gorgeous on it, so it's absolutely every skin tone from kind of lighter skins like Danielle to people like really, really dark, tanned. Um, this is one of Kim Kardashian's favourite lipsticks. So now to powder, as Catherine Jenkins does like quite a kind of full finish makeup, we're going to apply some Studio Fix Powder by MAC. This is a powder but it also contains some foundation, so this just really helps to um, prolong the wear of your foundation. And just be careful not to press over the area you've highlighted. So there you have it, that is our Catherine Jenkins look.